am so happy about what we've achieved over the past few weeks. Our home has become a lot greener. But it's not just the inside of our home that counts. There are things to do on the outside too. I'm responsible for maintaining the swimming pool. I was surprised to learn that we're spending about a quarter of our electricity on running the swimming pool pump. It is the second biggest electricity user. We've installed a variable speed pool pump. It's very energy efficient and quiet, and we've set it so that it can run during the day, so that it can run off solar power and not be on during ESCOM's peak energy hours. I've heard that most pool owners can save about 2,000 rand a year on power just by installing a more efficient pump. We're recycling the water from the pool's backwash process. The backwash water goes into a tank and we add a flocculant and leave it for a day. Then we can pump the water back into the pool again. It's a great way to save water. The first thing that we did was to reduce the number of hours that the pool pump was running per day to only about two to four hours in the winter and about four to eight hours in summer. I'm experimenting with how few hours can work for my pool, but I'm already experiencing a big difference in my electricity consumption. We used to have very high water bills and we're aware of the need to save water now. We are very happy with our new grey water system. This grey water system feeds the wastewater from the bathroom sinks, showers and the laundry into the garden. This has helped to reduce our water costs, especially in the dry months when we would normally be using lots of fresh water for watering the garden. We live quite close to my school, so I usually walk or cycle there. I'm testing out this electric bike for a few months, and all my friends are green with envy. Now I can recharge the battery using our solar power too, which means savings for us and the environment. Using public transport is always great if it's an option because it saves money and air pollution. But unfortunately, I don't have public transport from my house to college. So instead, I'm going to be investigating more environmentally friendly vehicles for my future. Carbon taxes already apply to new cars being sold. So it shows which ones use more fuel and emit more. And I will be avoiding those. These days, there are also options for vehicles which use alternative fuels. And lots of research is going into this. I mean, I've done a test drive of a hybrid car which offers great long-term savings and maybe my next car won't even use petrol. I mean, it could run on gas or even electricity generated by the sun. Who knows? Over the past few weeks, my green home project has made our house more energy efficient and greener, both inside and out. You can also do this at your home. Not only will it save the environment, it will also save you money. Visit the My Green Home website to find out more. During our next webisode, we'll be finding out exactly how much money and energy we are now saving. And I am excited to see how our hard work has paid off. And I'm sure you guys are curious too. So don't miss out. <laughs>